I call this meeting to order. Why me? Why the United Church of Christ? Who? Me? Yes, you. As servant leaders of Jesus, we are called to make an impact. And as if, for the first time realizing, she says, and I guess, I guess church makes me me. And Peter says, in his defense, hey, I had a dream, I'm preaching, and the Holy Spirit came upon the Gentiles. If God gave them the same gift God gave us when we believe, then who am I to hinder God? Peter's saying, the problem's not with me. It's with God. And the question for the church in that time and from that time forward has always been, not can you accept the other, but can you accept the God who already has? But you, O oh God, reminded us to draw the circle wide. Here we go. No matter who you are or where you are, on life's journey, you are welcome here. Shout for joy! You see, I think we learned three really important things from Moses' leadership. The first of which is that the foundation of any of our leadership in the church, of course, should always be our relationship with God. And friends, we need these kinds of leaders in the body of Christ. Leaders steeped in faith and willing to use gifts and service, and leaders who invite others into ministry. Leaders engender trust. Leaders have fun. The youth have a lot of fun at these revivals, so we have decided that they can't have all the fun. So November 6th and 7th, right back in Bloomfield, we're going to have a revival for the whole community of the Connecticut Conference. <laughs> Leaders follow through on commitments. So tonight we are going to sign a, an extension of our partnership for another five years. Leaders are self-aware. Come, let ah, Let me get the chords right. <laughs> Leaders do what is right. For the resolution of implementation for the right of all adult adoptees to access their original birth certificates and true and accurate information about their origins, please raise your cards. The resolution is adopted. Leaders love God, and leaders love people. Are you ready to worship? Yeah! Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked, and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. One of the most important skills in being a leader is asking really good questions. With these particular gifts and skills, with this particular context, who else but me to answer this call? But I think there's another level of who else, and that level is who else? can be in this with me. We belong. We matter. This is the United Church of Christ. Oh.